accurately measure the area when quoting for the job. Gridding the area in roll sizes of 2 meter or 4 meter widths. Rolls are made to a standard size of 4 meters by 25 meters. So you will need to consider wastage factors. Grass should always be installed in the same direction. When the install date arrives, remove turf with a sharp spade or preferably a mechanical turf cutter. Using a sharp spade, create a chamfered finish at the perimeters. Set approximately 30 to 35 millimeters below the perimeter edgings. Cut back any haunching that is too high as a clean edge is needed to butt into. Using a rake, level the area off to natural falls as you don't want humps or bumps prior to installing the stone base. Where there is no edge to butt into, install an edging system. On circular designs, use a steel edging system or on straight runs, use tantalised timber. Using a mix of fine stone and post mix, install a layer around perimeters. This helps prevent worm casts and weed growth protruding up the side of the installed grass. Additionally, this also stabilizes perimeters. Now install a liberal layer of six mm to dust, granite stone or similar. Using a rake or dummy rake, Level the area out, creating a crowned profile. In effect, the centre is higher than the outer perimeter. This process of crowning and contouring produces a natural appearance to the installation and also allows for settlement over time. On soft and unstable ground, a type 1 stone base will be required prior to installing the fine granite stone. Now wet down the area, then compact, starting around the perimeters and circling into the centre. Also, scrape any ridges off that have been created by the compactor plate. Now install the weed membrane. This should be stretched out and fixed using 4 inch nails around the perimeters. Also trim around the perimeter edges. Unroll the grass and position ideally running the pile towards the house on back gardens and the reverse on front lawns, i.e. facing the pile out. Ensure the grass fits up to the outer perimeters and where there is an obstacle like a tree or a post, fold the grass back and decide the shortest route to cut. Then cut between the tufts, taking care not to trim any of the blades of the grass as this will create a poor seam. Where the grass fits too tight around the obstacle, splice the carpet starting at the bottom of the obstacle. This releases any tension and allows the grass to lay flat. The two edges that have been cut to go around the post should come together perfectly. If not, this indicates that the grass is still under tension and will require further cutting. To join sections of grass, lay the joining tape blotting side up shiny side down. Nail this in place. Check the alignment and then trim the grass at the perimeter edge near the joint so we don't disturb the joint once the adhesive has been applied. Now using a mastic gun apply a bead of adhesive just under the edge of the grass followed by another bead to the front edge. Carefully bring the second piece together taking care not to bury the tufts. Lightly pressurise the seam to disperse the adhesive. Using 4 inch galvanised nails, nail up the seam at leading edges and stagger down the seam. Open the pile up to ensure the nails do not bury any tufts. 
Trim perimeter edges and nail at corners approximately every 75 centimeters. Where the pile runs away from the perimeter edges, kink the carpet and brush the pile with your hand to encourage the pile to run into the edge. Once all the grass has been seamed and nailed, we now install a heavy layer of kiln dry sand into the perimeters, always clawing the pile open to ensure the perimeter edges are fully loaded with sand. When you do not have the use of a hopper or mechanical brush and blower, cut holes in the bags of sand and apply as evenly as possible. We recommend 6 to 8 kilograms per square metre. Using a stiff yard brush, brush the sand into the pile, always brushing the pile open. If using a mechanical brush, brush the pile open around the perimeters dispersing the existing sand. Using a heavy duty blower, disperse excessive sand the brush cannot remove. Once complete and using a sand hopper, apply approximately five coats of sand to the remaining area followed up with a mechanical brush and blower. The installation is now complete, a perfect low maintenance lawn.